Welcome my dear class 9 students in physics class and to the students those whose parents have not allowed them to attend the class offline, welcome them in the e-learning class of St. Michael's Academy. Now today in this class I am going, uh, we are going to discuss uh, work and energy. But the very first we have to understand uh, scientifically how can uh, uh, I explain how do you can explain work? Ah, because uh, emotion, there is a difference between when you observe a person, suppose a person is trying to push a very huge piece of law in a very hot sun, then you will say, how much work is doing, how much work is doing. He is trying to push a very big piece of law, but that piece of law is not moving a moving a centimeter from its place. So scientifically, he has not done any work. Work is calculated only in one case by applying force that object change its place. Only in that case, work is said to be done. So there are two factors when scientifically work can be, work is said to be done that a force is applied and by applying force, the body must change its position. So when we combine these two factors, we can come to the uh, conclusion of the definition of work. Work is defined in the Two factors are applied force and the body must change its position. position. Then when you combine these two, how can you define uh, work? Can anyone uh, try? Can anyone try? Krish. A work is done when a person applies a force on something and the and the thing changes its position. Okay. So I'm thinking of work. Work is said to be done when an applied force applied force on a body changes position its position what is a scalar quantity so uh, mathematically Work is is equal to force into displacement. Okay. In notation form, W is equal to F into S. S represents the displacement. displacement. Okay. Now, when you think about this SI unit. SI unit. So what is the SI unit of force? Newton. 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 And displacement? Meter. Meter. Very good. Which means 1 Newton into 1 meter is equal to 1 joule. Now we are in the condition to define 1 joule of work. How can we define 1 joule of work? that if one newton of force is applied on a body, suppose this here is a body whose mass is uh, one kilogram or any mass, mass is here and by applying a force F, if it covers a distance of one meter, in that case that the uh, work done by that force is equal to one joule. one joule. So how can I define one joule of work? That by applying one newton of force, if a body displaces by one, one meter, then work done is equal to one joule. One joule. Very good. Can you see if yeah 
by applying by applying one newton of force on a body if it displaces displaces by one meter then one joule of work is done okay so what are the two basic factor must be needed for work applied force, force and by applying force that body must move move suppose i am applying force on this wall from 6 am to 6 pm have i done any work no, no why because that because this wall hasn't moved from its position so work is said to be done only in that case by applying any amount of force that body must change its position place or position understood so after this we are going to we are going to study the calculation of force in three different conditions in different conditions mein hum log padhenge bachcho so please note it down after that we are going to uh, take the next part of that this topic that calculation of work on three different conditions god bless you